All right, so we've heard our personal trainer say that if we want to get more sculpted in tone, we need to start putting protein in every one of our meals and snacks. So today what we're going to show you is how we can start to build that lean muscle, which is going to speed our metabolism and start to burn the fat. So we're going to show you a breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas, but on each one of them, we're going to show you the animal style, and then we're going to show you the plant-based style, all right? So every one of them, we're going to have two different options. And again, take what you want and leave what you don't, and always have fun creativity of what you truly want, okay? So what I'm going to show you is it's literally my most easiest, quickest way for me to get in breakfast. You don't even have to cook anything unless you want to with the quinoa. That's optional if you want it, okay? So what I'll do is I'll just take a bowl and I'll put the quick oats in there. I'll sprinkle a little bit of some protein powder on top. It's optional if you want to do peanut butter or almond butter. And then all of these fun different toppings that you can add. What's great is all I do is add hot water to it. I'm out the door. That quick, no dirty dishes, you're done. So. Does yours beat mine? I love that, <laughs> but you know how I like my animals. Oh, so I know you love your animals. I think mine's a little better, but this is what I eat every day for breakfast. I'm, I'm a bit of a creature of habit, so when I find something I really like and that really works for my diet, then I just go with it like every day. So what I like to do is eggs. So obviously cook those the way that you like them. I usually do two eggs, um, but you could do three, whatever. I do the whole egg, but if you want a little bit less fat, if you're like, oh, I'm probably gonna have more fat in my day later, you can take those yolks out and just do the egg whites. Um, so that's your eggs. Then turkey bacon. So I like to cook those up, just a little bit of oil in my pan, and those are pretty quick. You can do regular bacon, but this is gonna have way less fat in it, and it's just more of a lean meat, and I just love it. And then I put a little bit of avo on the side with just like a tiny bit of salt. I'm just getting on a little bit more of my good fat there and nice, well-rounded little breakfast. You know what I like about it too is that these are short and simple and quick rather mm -hmm. than we're not sitting here like, okay, we're gonna cook some gourmet meal for mm -hmm. you guys today, which can feel very overwhelming, mm -hmm. but instead just more like, hey, let's just find little quick, simple things that's our go-tos. Yep. And we're just sharing you our go-tos, even if it's animal style <laughs> or plant-based style. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thanks, guys. So here's our lunch ideas. Ready? Show them your protein lunch yes. ideas. So mine is an easy wrap, and I have arugula, and I have avocado, some cheese. You can do, you know, whatever cheese you would like. I have some peppers, and I have some chicken. You can do any protein you would like, any vegetables you would like. I like a wide variety, and I love it very colorful. Like, look how pretty that is. That is pretty. Gorgeous. Now you can just wrap that up and just eat that. Wrap it. I love it. Thanks for sharing that. Now, if you're not much a fan of that one, well, let's go ahead and go over to a protein shake. We're gonna give you two options, all right? So right here I have a protein shake. You can either choose vanilla or chocolate on your protein powder. If you'd like, you could have a little bit of some almond milk to add with it. And then what you can do is actually blend in a blender if you wanna do any of these toppings here. So you got your bananas, your strawberries, your raspberries, nuts and seeds, all that fun stuff. So make it your own. Peace. All right, so here's dinner, and what we're gonna do is, I'm on the plant-based side, so what I chose for dinner today is the Perfect Burger, or you've heard of the Beyond Burger, so either one of those. Mm -hmm. And something that I really like to do, you can actually stack things to make them a lot more protein-oriented. Protein so one of the favorite things I like to do on the bottom, you can do a cauliflower veggie patty. Today I just did the same thing, just to make it simple. And then you add your vegetables, and you can do a little side salad as well. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's like frozen patties that you can just kind of toss in. I mean, that took me about five minutes. Yeah, I like that you're basically using your patties as your buns. That's yeah. awesome. Isn't that fun? <laughs> it's really fun. And adding a little sauce on there really just kind of takes it over the edge of whatever sauce that you enjoy. So what I've done is kind of like a high protein pasta. And so we have a few different options for our noodles. So we've got a protein plant-based noodle. Now I'm not necessarily plant-based, but I really, really like these. And then I'm not eating like a really high carb noodle. There's also chickpea options. I also have another one that's not here that I use that's uh, made out of lentils. That's really yummy. Um, so there's that. Let's see, what else do we have in here? We've got olives in here. We have sun-dried tomatoes. So you have, I usually get these ones that are like in an oil, but there's also um, a, a more dry version. Uh, we've got some olive oil and some pesto. So this is a tomato pesto. Sometimes they use like a regular basil 
uh, green kind of a pesto, but both are super yummy. And then I actually added a little bit of a walnut as well because I really like that crunch. And then chicken. So you got your protein in there, and this is just one of and my how, favorites. And how long do you think it could have took you? Oh, you know what? The only thing I'm really cooking, cooking is the chicken and the noodles, and that took me, I don't know, 10 or so minutes, and then I'm just throwing it all together after that. So it's pretty quick, and I'll make a big batch, that way I can have it for a few days. There you go, meal prep at your fingertips. So if you liked this video and it gave you some ideas, go ahead and just hit like and subscribe in the, in the section down below, and we'll see you in the next video. Can't wait. See you guys.